Hi everyone, in this video I'll be discussing about Veracrypt for Windows and we'll be downloading, installing, and setting it up. Veracrypt is a free and open source cross-platform program that allows you to encrypt entire drives such as your C drive in Windows or specific files and folders. You want to encrypt your data to help prevent it from being read from others or if it falls in the wrong hands, such as you forgetting your USB drive. BitLocker, which is available in Windows Pro editions, but not Home edition, can encrypt drives, but isn't dynamic like Veracrypt, where you can create an individual container and only place your important data. BitLocker is also proprietary software, so it's closed source, which means we can't see the code that's running underneath. BitLocker implements AES encryption, which is still excellent, but doesn't offer cascading algorithms if you want to use Serpent and AES encryption. BitLocker still has its use, and it's good to start with and easy to use. And when you're ready, you can move on to Veracrypt. So let's download Veracrypt. Okay, I'll download it from SourceForge. Download. Okay, it's finished downloading. Open it up. And I'm going to install it. Okay, yes. English. I accept the license terms. Next. I'm going to install. Next. Use the default. See program file slash Veracrypt. Install. Veracrypt has been successfully installed. OK. And I'm going to hit Finish. If you have never used Veracrypt before, we recommend that you read the chapter Beginner's Tutorial in the Veracrypt User Guide. Do you want to view the tutorial? I'm going to hit No. I'm going to Start. And we can see Veracrypt. So I'm going to run it. OK, so I'm going to create volume and then create an encrypted file container creates a virtual encrypted disk within the file recommended for inexperienced users. So we're going to do this option here, create an encrypted file container. A container is like a USB drive, for example, where then you can place only your important data, like some spreadsheets, text files, pictures, etc. stuff that you want to encrypt. So we're going to pick on that, and then we're going to hit Next. And then we're going to do a standard Veracrypt volume. So select this option if you want to create a normal Veracrypt volume. Hit Next. And then we're going to specify a location where we're going to put this. So for example, we can put this on a USB drive or we can just put this on the hard drive itself. And then so we're going to select the file. And then I'll just put it under my, the documents folder. And then we're just going to call this container. And then you can call it anything you want. And then we're going to just hit save. So it's going to create this file and then we're going to hit next. Here's where you select your encryption algorithm. AES is by default, and there's Serpent, there's TwoFish, and then there's cascading algorithms such as TwoFish and then AES, Serpent, TwoFish, and then AES. And if you pick cascading algorithms, it's going to take longer because, for example, here it's going to do TwoFish first and AES. So we select AES TwoFish, two ciphers in a cascading operating in XTS mode. Each block is first encrypted with TwoFish and then with AES. So each cipher uses its own key. All keys are mutually independent. And so I'm just going to select AES. And then the hash algorithm, it's defaulted to SHA-512. Just leave it as here. SHA-512 is excellent. And then I'm going to hit Next. And here's you decide how big your container will be, so the volume size. And the larger it is, the bigger it is, the longer it's going to take to create it. So I'm going to do one gigabyte as an example. And I'm going to hit Next. And here's where we're going to put in our volume password. So it's very important that you choose a good password. You should avoid choosing one that contains only a single word. That can be found in a dictionary or a combination of two or three or four such words. It should not contain any names or dates of birth. It should not be easy to guess. A good password is a random combination of upper and lower case letters, numbers, and a special characters such as the at sign, the caret, equal, dollar sign, star, 
plus, etc. We recommend choosing a password consisting of 20 or more characters. The longer, the better. Maximum possible length is 128 characters. So I'm going to put in my password. Okay, and hit next. All right, and then this screen here says important move your mouse as randomly as possible within this window. The longer you move it, the better. This significantly increases the cryptographic strength of the encryption keys. Then click format to create the volume. So I'm just going to move my mouse. Okay, I'm going to pick the file system. I'm going to pick XFAT. Cluster is the default. And then now I'm going to hit format. Okay, the Veracrypt container has been successfully created. Hit OK. The Veracrypt volume has been created and is ready for use. If you wish to create another Veracrypt volume, click Next. Otherwise, click Exit. Hit Exit. All right, now that we have the volume created, we just have to mount it in here. So we pick a drive letter. So I typically start at the bottom. So the Z drive, and then we're going to select the file. And then this is the file. This is the volume that we created earlier. So this container. So you can open it up, and then you can hit mount, and it's going to ask you for the password. So put in the password that you entered in earlier, and then you can hit OK. And now it's done. So it's mounted it to the Z drive here. And I'm just going to minimize this, okay, and we check the computer here, and we go to our Z drive. So here it is, here's our volume, here's our container here. And then now we can put in any files, we can copy. So let's create a new folder, for example, test123. And we can put files, let's move this Veracrypt setup executable that we downloaded earlier, we can move it into there. So go to the Z drive, we just paste it in here. And everything in this container will be encrypted. All right, and when we're done, we can just dismount it and then go back to Windows Explorer and it's no longer there and go to the documents again and here's our container. And so all those files are in the container volume here and it's encrypted. Now if we want to mount it again, go to the Z drive, going to hit mount, put in our password. I'm going to hit OK. OK, and then we're going to go to our Z drive again. And there's our file, Veracrypt setup, the executable, and our folder, test123. Now let's say that you want to encrypt your entire USB drive. So for example, my USB drive here, it's the E drive. So let's just say I want to encrypt that entire drive there. And this is a non-system drive, so it's a non-Windows drive, it's just a USB drive here. So how I can do that, you can go to Create Volume, and encrypt a non-system partition slash drive. Click on that, hit Next, and then hit Yes. And then we're going to do a standard Veracrypt volume. Select this option, you want to create a normal Veracrypt volume, hit Next. And then we're going to select the device, so then we want to pick the E drive here, the USB drive, so hit OK. And then we're going to go to Next, and then Create Encrypted Volume and Format it. This is the fastest way to create a partition hosted or device hosted Veracrypt volume. In place encryption, which is the other option, is slower because the content of each sector has to be first read, encrypted, and then written. Any data currently stored in the selected partition device will be lost. The data will not be encrypted. It will be overwritten with random data. If you want to encrypt existing data on a partition, choose the other option. So encrypt partition in place. But this one is empty. This USB drive E is empty. So I'm going to be creating an encrypted volume and formatting it. So I'm going to click, select this option here. And I'm going to hit Next. And it's asking for the encryption algorithm and then the hash algorithm. So I'm going to leave the default, AES and SHA-512. Hit Next. And then it puts in the size, 58.59 gigabytes. And hit Next. And then it's asking for a password. So I'm going to put in a password. Okay, I'm going to hit Next. Do you intend to store files larger than four gigabytes in this Veracrypt volume? 
say yes. Depending on your choice above, Veracut will choose a suitable default file system for the Veracut volume. You will be able to select a file system in the next step. So hit next and just, uh, choose uh, XFAT. So I'm going to move the mouse again. And I'm going to hit format. Caution, all files currently stored on the selected partition. The USB drive will be erased and lost. They will not be encrypted. Are you sure you want to proceed with format? Yes, I do. So I'm going to hit yes. So this is going to take some time. So I'm going to fast forward through this. OK, the USB drive has been formatted and is now ready. That's important, please keep in mind that this volume cannot be mounted accessed using the drive letter E, which is currently assigned to it. To mount this volume, click Auto Mount Devices in the main Veracrypt window. Alternatively, in the main Veracrypt window, click Select Device, then select this partition slash device and click Mount. The volume will be mounted to a different drive letter, which you can select from the list in the main Veracrypt window. The original drive letter E should be used only in case you need to remove encryption from the partition slash device. If you no longer need encryption, in such a case, right click the drive letter in the computer or my computer list and select format. Otherwise, the drive letter E should never be used unless you remove it as described. So I'm just going to hit OK. The Veracrypt volume has been successfully created. And so I'm going to hit exit. I'm going to select the drive letter Y, and we're going to select the device. So it's the E drive, the partition that we have here. So E drive, 58.6 gigabytes, and OK. I'm going to hit mount, put in the password, hit OK. OK, and it has been mounted. So I'm going to go to the Y drive. Here's the Y drive, and I'm going to create a text file in here. TXT, and so it's here. It's encrypted, and as VeraCrypt is seamless, so I can just open up files from the volume and work on them without issue. Like for example, this text file, I can just open it up, and it'll open up Notepad, and I can put in data, test one, two, three. And save it and it's still here and so you can just work on it as normally or if you have for example let's say an Excel spreadsheet you can do the same thing you just open it from your volume and it'll open up uh, Excel so it's, everything is seamless so that's it that's how you can easily use Veracrypt to create a container or encrypt a non-system drive such as the USB drive here and I hope this helps, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.